Hi everyone, it's Leah here. Today I have a new project for you. Uh, this project is storage box and mini album and I made it with uh, Graphic 45 uh, papers, cityscapes. I used all three paper pads, 6x6, 8x8 and 12x12 uh, to complete the project and uh, both chipboard sheets and one pocket and text sheet. Uh, the size of this album is nine, seven and a half by nine and a half inches, and the uh, storage box is of course a little bit uh, larger. Um, there is also a tutorial available in my Etsy store. Uh, there are three, uh, I mean four, um, PDF tutorials for uh, how to construct the box and embellish it, uh, how to uh, construct um, uh, covers and uh, binding and there are two parts of uh, page assembly and page decorating uh, tutorial so together for tutorials and i think it's over 1000 pictures and uh, over 270 pages for all four tutorials so let me tell you more about uh, the project so how I make my uh, boxes and albums. I don't cover boxes uh, with um, cardstock and also I don't do binding and uh, covers with cardstock because I explain everything in the tutorial uh, how they are made because um, if I make them with cardstock they just start tearing and uh, they get damaged pretty quickly. So I had to find another solution and I think this just works great for me uh, and projects will last for a very, very long time. So this is the box, the front of the box. I cut out the window and this is the image from 12 by 12 paper uh, and here are two uh, chipboard embellishments. Here on the top, oh, and this is the side and the back. And here is the side of the box and on the top is another cutout window with metal handle and this is how box opens and uh, the inside of the top of the lid of the box and this is the bottom and inside of the bottom and you can see the box opens and closes very easily so okay let's move to the album uh, on the front cover I cut out the window uh, put to uh, chipboard embellishments and down here I die cut letters from uh, Tim Holtz die uh, here uh, in the opening of the window is an image from 8x8 paper. Uh, on the spine I cut out the window and put some embellishments from the paper. Uh, so let's go to the inside. On the inside from cover I didn't do any pockets or flaps. I just covered the uh, cover with beautiful paper and some embellishments. And on this page uh, it's a flap with a pocket in the pocket is photo mat on the pocket images from the paper and pockets and text sheet uh, the pocket has a magnet and it opens to the right and here is another tag for embellishment um, so I didn't I didn't put a adhesive under uh, the tag so you can slide your photo under and adhere it down and on this flap is another pocket with two photo mats one small and one large and on the pocket is a tag for, uh, for journaling and, paper, and here a border from uh, the paper the flap opens to the side and it's again room for a photo and inside there are two large uh, inside flaps um, this flap opens to the top and room for pictures and here the bottom flap opens down 
and more room for photos. And here is a button from a chipboard sheet. Let's go to the next page. Here are two pockets, bottom and top pocket, and they are magnetized. So on the bottom pocket um, is an image from a chipboard tag, I mean from chipboard sheet, and in the pocket is small photo mat and a tag for journaling. So this pocket opens down and we have another pocket on the inside and little tag in the pocket. So the top pocket has also a photo mat and on the top is a tag from a pockets and tags sheet and it opens up and here is more room for a photo. Inside there are two larger um, flaps, uh, each of them opens. This one opens to the top, like so, and this one opens down. And here you can place a photo. On, in this area you can place one larger photo or two smaller. It, it would be, it would look like, like so, okay. In this flaps close and pocket flaps also close. On this page, um, oh, and throughout this album, I used uh, labels 28. So I did cut a label down here uh, and adhere it on the uh, flap. And on the, on a, um, um, and this is the embellishment from a chipboard sheet that I adhered on a top of a label 28. The flap opens to the side and in here there is another flap with a pocket and of course another photo mat. On the pocket is a tag for journaling. This pocket opens to the side and you have more room for photo and also um, tag for journaling. Uh, inside uh, I made two uh, label flaps, uh, each opens, this one opens up and here you have room for a photo and this one opens down. And on the next page uh, is a closure flap that is that has a magnet attached. And on the flap is a pocket uh, with a tag for journaling, of course. Uh, you open flap on the side and inside there are two larger flaps that opens to the side. And this one opens to the side and lots of room for photos. On this page is a large flap that opens to the left and this area for pictures. On the flap there are two uh, pockets. Each pocket has a photo mat. On the top pocket are there are two uh, small flaps that open to the side. And on the bottom uh, uh, pocket it's another flap with a pocket and in, on, in this pocket is a photo mat for uh, two photos and in the middle is a, an embellishment from the paper and this flap opens down like so and it closes. The next page has flap with large pocket and this is photo mat and the tag for journaling. On the pocket I, uh, I adhered a label 28 again and here are embellishments. And this pocket, op I mean <laughs> this flap opens and it's magnetized also. It opens and here is another uh, flap that opens to the side. And both of these uh, flaps 
are attached to another flap. Um, so this here is a part of uh, the bottom flap that these top flaps are attached to. So here is another flap that opens and inside is another uh, a large flap. It looks like, and inside looks like so. And here on the side is a border from, I think, 12 by 12 paper. Uh, on this page, um, I made a pocket and uh, I did cut two images from uh, Tim Holtz uh, dies. Uh, so in the pocket are two uh, photo mats, large and small photo mat. Um, here on the, uh, I uh, I cut uh, the edge with uh, EK Success punch, and here is a flap uh, that is covered um, over uh, the bottom flap, and it opens up. And this flap opens down and more room for pictures and inside there are two larger flaps and they open to the side and in, in here you have space for two smaller uh, photos uh, like you can place them like like that or you can you can put one larger photo like so or I'm gonna show you on the side that would be, look like like this And the last page is probably the most beautiful page. Um, it is to me. Uh, it has a flap uh, with a pocket and the flap is magnetized. On the pocket uh, you can see embellishments. Um, it opens to the side. Inside there are small uh, label flaps. Uh, you can place pictures um, on them and they open and more room for photos and in here is another flap and you can put uh, photos also on top of this flap so like I said it's, this is another flap that opens to the side and um, here is a larger flap with a photo mat and uh, here is an embellishment from uh, from chipboard sheet and here you can see pockets are die cut with uh, labels 28. The pocket opens to the side and inside is another pocket opens this way. On the back cover uh, I didn't, is this, it was the same uh, as the front cover, I didn't put um, any pockets or flaps, it's just a space for a uh, photo and some embellishment and that's and that's all. I hope you like my project. Um, if you like if you like it and would like to uh, get a tutorial it's in my Etsy store and uh, thank you for watching. Bye!